Hey guys, today I'm going to share what we are doing for our curriculum picks for this upcoming year for fifth grade. I cannot believe I already have a fifth grader. Oh my goodness, you guys. I have five kiddos, 10, 8, 6, almost four, and a one-year-old, and we are a homeschool family, and this is going to be our third year now homeschooling. Like, subscribe, do the bell, do all the things. And let's get started. So we buy our curriculum through Timber Doodle. They are a great company based out of Washington State and they basically just curate a bunch of the different curriculum out there for you. And a lot of their stuff that they select are very hands-on, they're colorful, they're exciting, they're not like boring, flip the page, do a bunch of brickwork kind of stuff. And so normally um, I would have had the planner but it is on back order right now and so they're gonna be sending it to me in a couple weeks um, after we actually start the school year but that's fine because I've been using these kits. This is our seventh one that I purchased and so um I kind of know how it works <laughs> and so I just went ahead and made a schedule for me online which I'll talk about in a minute but I love the planners this one's for third grade but it's very similar to the one that they have for fifth grade and it basically just shows you all the different works it walks you through like what a lesson should look like how you should teach it and um, kind of how to fit it into your week and then what I also love is that it comes with an awesome book list and as my kiddo is going into fifth grade I really love this recommendation list because you know, I just don't want the typical thing that you find on Amazon when you type in like great books for a fifth graders. I want like an actual, what is she gonna learn and kind of like, um, not just Charlotte Mason calls it twaddle, but not just a bunch of twaddle books. I want like actual intentional books for my kiddo. And that's not just about one subject, right? It's like about, about a whole bunch of different ones. So their planner is so amazing. It comes with an online scheduler. And what I really love about their online scheduler is that you can type in how many weeks you're doing, how many days of the week you're gonna be doing it, how many like lessons you wanna front load, back load, or you wanna spread out all the lessons throughout the year. And you can even do like, I want this to be done on Mondays, or I want math to be only done on Wednesdays and Fridays. So you can actually select that in the scheduler for you. You can even add on your own subjects. And so I add on like history reading and piano so that it's on their checklist. And so this is basically what the checklist looks looks like we are starting June 28th and we're gonna end the last week of May the following year and we do about 43 ish weeks of school and I love this because I want us to have sort of like school actual lessons in the morning and then I want to do like more Charlotte Mason style family subjects in the afternoon when my baby is taking a nap because we are still on baby schedule which is awesome but that means that we have to go with the flow and so this is what a typical week looks like this is her very first week that's printed and I did it color coded this year just because I thought it'd be kind of fun last year we did black and white and I just thought it'd be it would be cool to add some color and I took away the actual week date and I just put in week one. I also did not put in what actual pages are supposed to be doing and I just did a unit range. For instance, instead of saying, you know, lesson 25B and 25C and 25D, just do three lessons. And I like removing the week because then it's like, let's just finish this whole week and then let's move on to the next week. And I think with this previous year, it was like, oh no. Friday's done, let's move on to the next week and we still needed to finish some of that other stuff here and I think that might help with, um, it's gonna help with our summer not being so like, oh my word, we need to catch up and everything else. And so I, I think I'm gonna like this kind of format way better. Okay, so for the kit, I don't have a lot of add-ons this year for Abigail's fifth grade kit because we are doing Beautiful Feet books, family subjects, we're doing all around the world, the history of science, early American history, and teaching character through literature. I'm gonna be using a lot of this for morning time and then some of the other kids in their kits for third grade, first grade, and pre-K, they have fun little like books to go through. So I'm gonna go through those as well as a family and then some sort of like a virtue, Bible, devotional kind of a thing that we're doing as well. Um, and so that's what we're gonna be doing in the mornings and then in the afternoon doing those family subjects and then during the day basically from like 9 to around lunchtime I want her to get her work done so for science we are doing a science revolution and we do this about maybe like two to five times a month and we try to like do like a bunch of lessons at one time and it's something that I know we're not going to finish like this year but it's something that we have we have the lab kits we have about three of the kits and the um, textbooks and the workbooks and so I'm like you know what we just have to work through it as we go they did the Evan and Moore science books this past year they you know we like I forgot what the channel is called I'll link it below but we like this 
I don't, I don't even know what it's called. It's this redheaded lady on YouTube and she's so fun and we love her videos and the kids watch Storybots and you know, they do other sciencey things like cooking and everything else. And so um, anyway, but to go with science, we have Dr. Bonafide. Our kid loved doing this in their first grade kit. And you know, it was like the hands and the feet. And I believe this last year, or no, the first year was feet and the, I don't know, one of them was hands, the other one was feet. Um, and just learning about the different types of bones. And so she loves Dr. Bonafide. Um, and then we are also doing, like I said, the beautiful feet history of science. And that just kind of goes into like Albert Einstein and all the other sort of like historical figures in science and so she's gonna absolutely love that so to go along with science we have like the stem section in the in the kit we have a coding base kit here and this is something that I don't know how much of a help I'm gonna be this might be something she might have to do with Anthony he is a developer um, but it should be pretty easy for me to help her with and so she's very excited to start this and we have like a homeschool laptop that used to be one of like Anthony's old laptops so hopefully it's compatible with this because I don't know what else we're gonna do. <laughs> um, she is also going to be doing stop motion and you guys, this is so fun. On Timberdoodle's like Instagram or Facebook, they have some sort of examples of kids kind of doing that like during like throughout the year and seeing some of these have been so fun and so exciting. I can't wait to see what she creates with this and teaching her this and sort of kind of learning it with her. Um, for critical thinking and logic and gaming, we have some math games that I got for her and I also got, um, we are you know, we learned chess this past year as a family. And then she also has this sort of like puzzle independent game that she can play. And then um, I believe it's called Star Genius. And you basically roll a bunch of dice. You place these like blocker, you know, pieces where the number says, and you kind of fit the other pieces together to make a full star. So that's something else that we have that is out there I didn't bring in here. Um, we have for language arts and critical and creative critical thinking um, is what I'm gonna do next. And so we have 101 doodle definitions. And you guys, this is so fun. I like that it's just like a new way to sort of teach definitions. It makes it fun with just different mnemonics, right? And so like hierarchy, teaching the king is like super duper high right here. And so I just like how they sort of do the definitions. They have a mnemonic and then they get to draw it out and hopefully remember it. <laughs> Um, and then we have Critical and Creative. We, she did this back in third grade, and I really like this book because it just has really cool themes. It teaches problem solving, critical thinking, logic skills, and everything else, and they have different themes of like Christmas and summer and like in the desert, and there's just, I don't know, their pages are really fun, and this is really good independent work for when I'm teaching a lesson to another kiddo. Um, for geography, we are doing Beautiful Feet Books Around the World Part 1, and that's something we're doing on Fridays with um, some other homeschool friends. Um, but I also want her to have a geography book that she's kind of doing to learn about the actual ge geography terms and such like that, and just around the world. Um, and again, this isn't Charlotte Mason style at all, but I want her to have the reading. Okay, now for art, um, I am having her do my year of art, and so this last year she had um, um, a comic art book and then this year I think it's really be really fun for her to do like basically like every day here's an art activity and like do a few pages here and there um, our kiddos are just so art inclined they just love doodling on some of their math book pages all you see is doodles <laughs> Um, okay, and so what also came with the kit is this awesome watercolor um, kit. It has like the pencils, the brushes, and the paint, and just like the sharpeners and everything else in there. Um, and I have not really opened it quite yet. Let me see what it looks like. Okay, cool. So it has even the watercolor paper. I didn't realize that. Um, in there which will be really nice and then it comes um, the kit we paid for like this online watercolor sort of um, course and I went ahead and printed it and I put it in like the sheet protectors and so it's basically learning this is using the post impressionals period um, and so you know it's just she has the flashcards and like the skills of how to do it and then there's the history behind it and you know it's just like there's definitions and the key takeaways of what to kind of glean from that lesson and i think we're going to do that as like a sister work i don't think that um 
my first grader is quite ready for that like that kind of work yet he has his own painting work that he can do um but anyway i think the kids are gonna be really excited for that for math we have matthew c and i love matthew c she's done you know the last two years she's done matthew c gamma and delta she's on delta right now and so now she's going to be moving into epsilon what i love about matthew c is that it's mastery based and so in one lesson they have about seven work pages a b c d e f g and the first couple pages are only problems about that lesson and then the last few pages are you know systemic review from previous lessons and so we really love that because there's concepts that she's learned you know in in like in another book like oh wait you still need to remember how this works and so we really like how that works and what comes with epsilon are these new manipulatives because she is learning fractions and so they basically have you know this little like for instance this is thirds <laughs> I wish I had a table right here. And then here you have your sheets. And then, okay, here's what the one third is. Here's the two thirds. And then here's the three thirds and you put it on top. And so that will be great for her to use. And um, we do for previous years and um, levels, we really like their manipulatives because it's important for the kid to actually feel and see it out, like out physically and not just see it on a piece of paper. And so this is why I love Matthew C. So with the Matthew C program, it comes with a test booklet. And so the tests are pretty, you know, overall the whole entire lesson. And then they have like unit tests as well that kind of help to go over here the last four lessons. Um, and so this is something that we keep on hand for like record keeping. Um, and it also comes with a test book. And I really like that because it is, you know the instructions manual is like how to basically and helps me as a mom or you know a parent to teach my kiddo and exactly what they need to know they also have the online videos of the digital pack um, that you can go and your kiddo could watch the video what we like to do is read through that and then watch the video and then we work through the first page together the first page is like always hair pulling like oh my goodness i don't know how to do the t you know i don't know how to do this problem and i always tell her hey honey with math you just like it's just like piano just the more you practice the slower you go that's okay you're gonna get it and then by you know like f and g or even e sometimes she's like i actually like this i know how to do this i can do this um and so the workbook um, we are not having the kiddo write in the actual workbook. Um, we are, I got her like a graph paper um, journal notebook here that she's going to do her problems in. Right now she's using a composition book and she's doing it this way rather than um, this way just because it's easier for her to sort of fold it over and so we got her this to go and I just I just don't want to like have to buy like constantly every year the same exact workbook when they could just I can buy like a $10 notebook right for the kid to write the answers in um, and it also comes with an you know if you do have a DVD, DVD player my uh, Mac does not have a a CD spot for it so that's why we use the online digital pack and you get like a code that comes with your actual math packet okay so for each kiddo we got them this color pencil tin pack here I was using a pencil tray before for all of them but it was just so big and I need some more real estate on their little cubby because we have just more things and more workbooks because we're doing the family subjects and so I also got her this mixed media um, um, 60 page notebook here and then they can I like that it's top spiral I just feel like that's kind of better for painting or drawing um, and so when we're doing our family subjects or she's even doing her history reading or um, I have some other separate books that I want her to go through this year she can kind of journal and draw and then like write some notes here and there into this and then for her other notebooks for family subjects I just got the five star ones out of their top spiral and it is lined so she can um you know write on here and then through beautiful feet books they have like their free downloads to go with the lesson so she, she'll be coloring or painting those pages cutting them out pasting them into here and then writing about it and so that's why we got those okay so what else in art is this here she really liked diamond painting this past year and she just I don't know, she saw this on the website and I think it was on sale for Timber Doodle or something, I don't even know. So we got this for her to do, she loves it and she can't wait to finish the tiger. Um, build a giant poster coloring book and this is gonna be of the United States, North America um, 
yeah, the whole entire, yeah, United States of America, and then of course Canada and Mexico are underneath. Um, but this is something that she's looking forward to. It's very artsy. And then there's also Doodle America. So again, she's doing a lot of American history this um, year for fifth grade. And so I like that their kits kind of have the same theme. Um, and she loves drawing, so this is going to be such a great book for her to kind of work through. And I like that there's history facts in there as well. And then we have a Draw the USA. So by the time she, you know, works through the whole entire thing, she'll be able to draw the whole entire United States. Um, and like at, at a time. So I think the first thing she starts out with was obviously the northeastern part of the United States. Let me get to page one. Is yeah, like Vermont and New Hampshire. And then she moves on and adds to that like Maine and Connecticut, and Massachusetts. And so this will be really fun for her to do as well. And these kind of books here, um, and during morning time, they can do their penmanship and then they can do, you know, some of their art books and what have you, because I want them to be listening after they've done, you know, when they're done eating their breakfast, I want them to have that option. Um, and so there's that. And then for language arts, um, we have spelling you see, and I like spelling you see, she pretty much knows how to spell all these words. But again, this is about, you know, American history and kind of the modern milestones. She's finishing up level F right now. I like it because there's also history in here as well. We are doing all about spelling as a family, not like rigorously sticking to the lessons, but like here are the different spelling sort of rules and things that you need to know. And so um, they do have like the different endings and everything else and the prefixes and suffixes in here, but I like to kind of you know, do both. I know that kind of sounds crazy, but um, she does have this. I don't have her do every single page. There's like A, B, C, D, E in here, and I have her do A and then B and C, and then I have her pick a D and an E because then there's like a creative side to it where she could draw um, or write or dictation. It depends. And so that's what we're doing. It comes with this erasable color pencil kit so you can underline the chunks when what have you, but I, our pencil sharpener just kind of just doesn't sharpen them properly and then they're just like ruined after like a week. And so we use the erasable highlighters by Mr. Pen. For handwriting, I have um, and affirmations and the logos handwriting workbooks right now that they're finishing. I don't expect them to finish it, um, you know, in one year. So they're finishing that up right now. And then I have an italicized, basically, um, italic handwriting series. And I just want them to just, I don't want them to have to finish this through the whole year. I want them to work like, you know, half a page or a whole page while we're doing morning time. And then I also have a handwriting, um, like the Bible verses here. And I just like the scripture verses because it just helps, you know, like we're Christian, we, this is what we do. <laughs> um, and so I really like this and I don't want her to do like one lesson in one week. I just want her to do like a chunk of it. Um, cause I want this to last like two years. I don't, her handwriting is really beautiful, but I think the art of like, writing the straight lines and writing the curves and everything else is very relaxing, at least it can be. Um, and so that's what we're doing there. For um, language arts, she's also doing jump in. And so this is new to us. And so I haven't really like looked into it, but it's basically read this, answer the questions, and then it comes with a teacher's manual. And, you know, I started, obviously, since I'm doing this video, I looked at the first couple of pages and it's, you know, kind of nice. It's, it's like talking to the child. You know, now it's, now it's your turn. Check all the boxes below that are true. Um, for you about writing like is it easy for me? I do it with a pencil and um, I just like that It's easy and go and it's not too over complicated for the kiddo um, To introduce the subjects and so this is my first year using jump in and we'll see how that goes It comes with this teacher's guide and I'll be reading through this <laughs> week by week. I don't read through the whole thing like you know do the Charlotte Mason pre-reading thing um, quite yet and so I'll read through and skim through some of this obviously before um, we start so that I just have a better idea. I know that with Mazda, she was doing Mazda last year and it was pretty, it was like easy to kind of work through because of just her reading level and I just had to check, okay, these are the questions that are being asked. Did you actually answer them? Oh, you did, great, let's move on. Um, and so this is kind of completely different from what we were using and so I, well, I'll let you know how it goes. 
for history, um, what came with the kit was the Amazing World War II stories. And so, um, again, we love, like, you know, graphic novels to teach. That one's kind of scary. <laughs> <laughs> to teach history we love history smashers and so that's a good one um also what came with the kit is america the beautiful and i have never um gone through any of these this is like literally the first time i'm opening the book and so i'll have to see how we like it um and again it's like I like that it. it's colorful, there's pictures, well this one's black and white, but like, you know, there's other pages that have color, hopefully, I don't know, it's all like black and white to me. Um, and then it comes with, I'm worried you guys, this is so many bucks. <laughs> it comes with the three, so that, that this is the first one, part one, and so it's 1000 to 1877, and the second book is 1800s to the present and so this is kind of nice she's doing this right now um because it will go nicely with our family story of the world and you know our early making history that we're doing with beautiful feet of books this here is we the people words from the makers of american history so i guess this may be just all about the america history history of america um so that's kind of interesting. I've never kind of looked through this, so this is kind of nice. Not Grass History, apparently, is the company. And then it comes with the maps and then the timeline. And we are actually doing a book of centuries, like Charlotte Mason talks about. But this will be kind of nice for her to just kind of reinforce that. But we're doing a family book of centuries um, for everyone, you know, so that everyone can kind of write in um, when we do our family subjects. But this one's kind of cool just to see, you know, how it's all kind of flowing together in time and then there's the answer key and literature guide um, that comes with it and then they have the what is this oh the maps that's pretty cool um that really is amazing she's gonna need a bigger cubby that's for sure <laughs> and then this student workbook um i love that the student workbook is in color you guys when things are just black and white it just kind of gets really boring really fast um and so i like this for history this is so awesome all right and so the last thing that i'm going to talk about is a test prep test prep comes with pretty much all their kids starting in grade one i know in kindergarten they have olsat um for timber doodle and i don't start this until november december or january depending on how much we've covered and this is a great way to kind of see what your kiddo knows what you still need to work on and so this is why i start it like sort of way kind of sometimes i even start in february um it depends on where my kiddo is at um and just to see you know like is there something I need to work on? And I'll have them do maybe four to six pages a week, depending on how late we start it. And this is just a great addition to um, to the kit. Okay, so those are our curriculum picks for fifth grade. Please like this video. Thank you so much. I know this is such a long video, but there are just so many things to share about. And um, I am gonna probably do a video about like sort of our routine, our flow for the day, because I feel like every single year we have to make changes to how our school room looks and what we have out what we need to take down and um, I'm sort of reorganizing everything right now and then I cannot wait to share sort of what the room looks like what our morning time is gonna look like and our family subjects and I cannot wait to do the videos you guys about the beautiful feet books subjects the books are absolutely gorgeous and I kind of like that we're sort of you know still doing this but as a family we're incorporating like the Charlotte Mason style kind of way of learning I'm so looking forward to it like subscribe and we will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.